Is it possible to combine the path of magic with family life? A mage is not allowed to have any attachments in this earthly world, neither to property nor to material things, other people or children. Never. And if a man who follows the path of magic can ignore this fact, can make a payment to the world that takes his children into its care, and can pay for this act in advance, a woman doesn't have that right, because a woman won't even be asked for such a payment. She doesn't have enough resources to pay for the severing of the connection between her and her child. A woman never has that kind of resource. So women who already have children should wait about 25 years until their children have children of their own. Only then can they ritually cut themselves off from them. It is the cheapest way, because otherwise they simply will not be able to pay for their deeds. The curse will be on them, their children and all their descendants to the seventh generation, so you have to be very careful when it comes to this matter. Why has it always been thought that a person who follows the path of magic should be educated from childhood? Because he was originally endowed with this knowledge, to have no family, no home, no property, no material attachments, nothing. Only then do you have a chance to succeed, otherwise you don't. So first fulfill your obligations to the one you gave birth to, and only then try to manage the world. I suppose in the time it takes for children to have children of their own, personality can develop in a magical way, you are free to form your own mystical view of the world, but you are not allowed to practice witchcraft. Because, once again, witchcraft is your job. And if you make a mistake, if you name the wrong price, you will be the last to be charged. First of all, those who are connected to you will be charged. Because you are a precious object to the force that works through you. Whereas everyone else who is close to you is not so precious, so first they take away your children, your parents, your friends, everyone who needs to be taken away from you, and only when you are all alone do they start charging you. That's the way it is, a mage is always an empty vessel. His consciousness has to be empty. He has to be in that state of inner emptiness that Castaneda wrote about, which is exactly the state of magical consciousness, when you want nothing for yourself, when you have no personal preferences. When you become a creature, because it is difficult to call you a human being, you become a creature who has no opinions about anything.